Oh. oh yeah. Whoa. All right, what's going on everybody and or anybody? Christian with Make Time for Fishing here. I am back out today. I'm actually using my old kayak, the paddle kayak today. Had a little bit of a mishap on the highway. Nothing serious happened, but the steering control uh, for my rudder somehow came unscrewed and fell off somewhere on the highway. So I have a new one in the mail. Thankfully, it's not very expensive. It's just the actual steering knob itself. So I'm on the paddle kayak today. And what that means is I didn't want to cover a lot of water. So I'm going back to the spot that I've been doing so amazingly well in a bunch of recent videos. If you haven't seen them yet, you're going to want to check them out. Just unprecedented, at least for me, number of big sheep's head inshore here. But anyway, I'm going minimalist. Don't even have my kayak crate with me. Just have a couple of tools, a few hooks, a few jigs, and uh, my leader line, and the one rod, of course. And I'm just going to get to it. I am today, of course, wearing my Waterland Co. sunglasses. These are the Hybro with green mirror lenses. If you're interested in checking them out, they have a lot of cool frames and some really premium quality stuff, as well as some active wear. Go and check their website out and use my promo code MT4F to get 15% off your order. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, wish me luck. Okay, I don't think I said this yet, but I don't have the fish finder with me today either. So going true minimalist, back to my roots here, back to the basics. And uh, we do have a bit of a breeze today, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna start out free lining because I know it's really shallow over here. Ooh, yeah, this wind's blowing me pretty hard. Let's see if uh, we can find any fish, even though it's so shallow over here. It's either a negative 0.2 or a negative 0.4 low tide today, so extremely low. Oh, I got picked up there and I wasn't ready for it. Good thing I didn't snap my rod. That'd be the last thing I need today. Let's try casting back up in there where I just got hit. There we go. That's a good cast. Watch the line, see if somebody scoops it up. Oh yeah, someone's got it. That's a red. Oh, he's up against the piling. There we go. Just a little one. <laughs> he's fat though, wow. Beautiful little puppy drum. He's probably only 13, maybe 14 inches. Exciting first fish though. Sometimes one fish getting hooked in an area gets them excited. Ooh, that was a fish. I think it might have been a little sheep. Oh. A little bit bigger one. Huh. It's a little bit bigger. <laughs> Hopefully these guys aren't the only thing I catch today, but happy to find a few of them early on. Especially on such a shallow little dock here. That was definitely the cast. Wow. Oh. This is a red. It's really small. Nope. Little sheep. Okay, so you guys are around. Bait is getting blown up on everywhere. Look at that. There's reds blown up on baits right under that. Oh, that's cool. Alright, someone's got it. Ooh, <laughs> he was just swimming with that. I bet that was a sheep. Might not have been very big, though. There we go. Perfect placement. That was lucky. Yeah, I think that's someone right there. Yeah, someone's got it. Red again. There we go. Okay, I pulled off a couple of good ones on this dock last time. Let's see if we can give another shot. So I'm still free lining. Uh, even though there's wind, there's no current really right now. At least not yet. While I can get away with it, I'm trying to. Okay, should be on the bottom. Oh, 
Oh, he's in there. Come on back. Oh, that's a good one. Not huge, but it's good. It's probably a keeper. You've definitely been caught before, buddy. I can see that hole, it's fresh. All right, little, well, no, maybe not a keeper, probably about 13. First decent one of the day. Ah, got picked up on the drop. There's clearly some fish on the stock, so let's see if we can pick off any of the big ones that were here the last couple of times I've come here. Don't think he's big. He got me in there for a second. It's a little guy. Try dropping down again, that was a quick bite. The heck is that? Whoa. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Those are manatees. That is so cool. I've never seen a manatee before in person. They're so big. That's the back of one. His back is all cut up. It looks like it's healed over, but it was cut. Oh, there he is. That's so amazing. This is so interesting. I wish I was looking at them from oh. I wish I was looking at them from above. I could see better. Look at its head. Ooh. Look at the size of them. Look at that. It's its flipper. Are they moving on? Yeah, it looks like they're moving on. That was very cool. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a consolation prize for what's been a slow bite. Yeah. Whew. Heck yeah, man. That's a good fish. <sighs> Out of nowhere. I haven't even really missed that many bites tonight, besides one really big one. Let's get him, that might be a 20. Oof, nope, my net was inside out. Come on. There we go. Oh, nice. Maybe those uh, manatees were a good omen. All right. Get a look at this guy quick, and we'll get him back. I think this might be a 20. But he's close. If he's not. <laughs> look at that guy. Tip of the tail. He is 20 and a half. <laughs> oh, 
sweet fish. Got him right in the corner. Using a little split shot rig, that was it. I guess the jig was a little too heavy for him tonight. Let's uh, get this guy back healthy and hopefully we'll uh, start getting some more fish because it has been slow. But Manti gave me a little bit of a second win. <laughs> so this is what the rig that caught him looked like. Tiny size one mosquito hook from owner and a little split shot and that was it. Obviously, you know, on leader, I use 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and just a small little fiddler crab. That was all, all it took. And I'm hoping I can get a few more before this uh, storm in the distance there gets to me. Oh, that's another big one. It's another big one. Oh no. Oh, dang it. I don't think he broke me. I was not ready for that. That was another huge one. In very shallow. I need to check these pilings here for more. little 11, 12 inch guy, small. Guess I'll try the same piling again. See if there happens to be another one. I feel like there was another one there for a second. Yeah. Wow. Another big one. Wow. <laughs> Come on, stay out here. Not as big as the last one, but probably a good 18 or so. Man, he ran harder than that last one, though. Why are you guys so shallow right now? And why didn't I figure that out sooner? I say that like I've been out here for hours and hours. Probably been out here for maybe an hour and a half. Yeah, that's a good fish too. He's definitely not as big as the one I lost right before him, but that was the same piling, so you know I'm going right back. All right. Thank you. All right, well, as you can see, it's starting to get dark on me, sun just set. I'm gonna head in now. Wasn't the most action-packed day, but I did get a few diamonds in the rough there. Uh, that 20 and a half, that was a big fish that really came out of nowhere after a very slow evening. Definitely the highlight for me was that manatee sighting I had. That was really amazing. I've never seen them before, and seeing the two of them up close for that long, that was, that was cool. Uh, definitely won't forget that anytime soon. I'm sure this is a short video, but thank you all for watching. I hope you still enjoyed it. A little bit more realistic of a day, but I still did get one big giant in there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember to make some time for fishing. Bye.